WP Travel Engine gives you various tools to increase your sales and revenue. If you offer tours with different prices, such as budget, luxury, or different kinds of accommodation, then you can create various packages and sell higher packages. In this video, I will show you how to create different trip packages in a single trip. Let's get started. First, log in to your WordPress admin dashboard. Now go to Trips and click on All Trips. Select the trip where you wish to add multiple trip packages. I'm going to select the first one. Click on Edit. Scroll down, go to Pricing and Dates. Here, you will find the option to create trip packages. For each trip you create, there should be at least one package. First, you have to click on Add a new package. Now give your package a name. Let's add the first name as Budget. Click on Edit Pricing and Dates. Here, you will find two pricing categories, Adult and Child. Open one of the pricing category. Let's open adult pricing category. Now you can add in the pricing details. You can set the price here. If you wish to enable sales, you can enable sales from here. Then you can add in the sales price for the package. Now you can also select the pricing type as per person or per group. If you select per person, then as your visitor adds the number of adults participating in a trip while checking out, the price keeps increasing. The price gets calculated as per person. But if you select price as per group, then no matter how many people participate in a trip, the price will remain the same. I will select per person. Then you can also add the minimum and maximum packs that can participate in the trip. This one is done. Now for the second pricing category, that is the child pricing category. Let's open it by clicking on it. Please note that if bringing a child is for free, then you should set the price here as at least zero. Because if you don't, then child category will not be shown in the front end. If it is not free, then you can fill in the details. I'm going to set the price as zero for a child pricing category but you can add in the price and details of your choice. You will notice that you cannot change the label from here for both child and for the adult pricing category. For changing the label, there is another way. I will show that to you in a while. Now, if you wish to add more pricing categories apart from the child and the adult pricing categories, then you also have that option. All you have to do is click on the link here. I will open it in the new tab. Here you will see that apart from the default categories, you will find the option to create new categories from here. You only have to add in the name of the new category, the slug, the description if you wish to. Then you can also add in the age group. Now let's add in a new price category. Let's add in the name. I'm going to add in the pricing category name as teens. Then let's add in the slug. Slug is the URL friendly version of the name. It is usually all lowercase and contains letters, numbers and hyphens. I'm going to skip adding the description. If you wish to, you can add it here. You can also set this pricing category as the primary pricing category by checking into this little box. If checked, this category will be treated as primary pricing category in packages and trip price will be the price of this category. I'm going to skip it as well. Then you can add in the age group. Let's add the age group as 13 to 19. And now click on add new category which will add this as the newly added category. Also, if you remember, the label could not be changed from here for both the pricing categories for both adult and child. 
You can change the labels from here. All you have to do is click on the edit option that is available for each of the categories. For example, if I wish to change the label adult to something else, I'll have to click on edit. Now instead of the name adult, let's assume that I wish to add in the category name as seniors. Then I can remove the label from here. Then I can add in name as seniors. Then you have to change the slug name accordingly. Scroll down and you have to click on edit. Now the label has been changed. If you click on go to categories, you will see the label has been changed. Following the same process, you can edit labels for other pricing categories. Also following the same process, you can keep on adding more pricing categories. Let's go back. Click on save and close to save all of the changes you have made so far. Scroll down and also click on continue. Now give this tab a refresh. Scroll down. Now if you go to pricing and dates once again. Here is the budget package that we created. Now click on edit pricing and dates. And you will see that along with the newly added category, the adult label has also changed. For this video tutorial, I will change the seniors label back to adult. So again, let's go back to categories. Click on edit. And instead of seniors as the label, I will add the label back as adult. Then I will also change the slug. Scroll down and click on update. Let's go back to categories and you will see the changes has been made. Now let's go back to the tab where we were adding the pricing categories. Click on save and close once again and we will give this tab a refresh. Scroll down, click on pricing and dates. Click on edit pricing and dates and you will see the label has now changed back to adult. For each pricing categories you add, the process of filling the pricing details is the same. I will quickly fill in the pricing details for the teens category. Now click on save and close. We have created the budget package. To add in another package, just like you did before, click on add a new package. Now give the package a name. This time, let's add in the package name as luxury. Click on edit pricing and dates. Now for each of the pricing categories, you have to fill in the details. I will quickly fill in the pricing details for the luxury pricing category as well. After you are done, click on save and close. And as you can see, the newly added package is displaying here. To add in another package, again, you have to click on add a new package. Now give this package a name. For our third pricing package, I will add in the name as exclusive. Now again, you have to click on edit pricing and dates. And following the same process, you have to fill up all of the pricing details for each of the pricing categories. If you wish to provide group discount and increase sales, then you can go for our group discount extension from here. Now click on save and close. Scroll down and click on continue. I have already filled up the rest of the details for the trip. So now we will click on update. Now let's view the trip in the new tab in the front end. Now scroll down and here is the booking widget. Now when your visitors click on check availability. 
we will be able to select from different packages available like budget, luxury and exclusive. Depending upon the package they select, the pricing will differ as well as you are seeing on the screen right now. And that is it. If you have any questions or confusions, do let me know in the comment section below or you can directly reach out to our support team. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more such videos. You don't want to miss what we bring to you. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in our next video.